Hey guys, it's your girl Just Me Re, and today I have another video for you. It's basically a get ready with me slash Q and A relationship editions. Um, so basically, I'm just going to be answering a list of questions uh, about relationships, things that I've experienced, maybe things that I haven't experienced, and just my take on it. Um, and I just kind of came up with this makeup look on the fly. Um, yeah, I like it. It's really colorful. It's bold. It's different. Um, and I think it came out kind of cool. Like, it kind of pretty much matches, like, my nails. Like, that, like, chrome look. I don't know. I guess was, that's what I was probably inspired by. But, um, yeah. Before we jump into the video, if you're not subscribed already, like, what you, what we waiting for? Like, let's be real about this let's get serious and commit okay i want to commit to you and you need to commit to me if we're gonna have this relationship okay hence what we're about to be talking about relationships you need to click the button below so that we we can have a bomb relationship and we can you know get it flourishing and like grow with one another and i don't know be cute with one another <laughs> no, just kidding uh, but yeah let's get into the video Peace. So guys, um, I decided to wear my little headband thingy because, you know, in the spirit of Halloween, you know, I thought it was really, that'd be really cute, you know. Um, so today, basically for this video, I'm going to be using this palette right here. That's the Kat Von D, the Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette. And this palette, I believe is her holiday collection palette. Um, I'm gonna like this is an impulse buy, very impulse, but I was just like, you know what, it's pretty. I like the gold, and then we open up. Here are the chateaus, aren't they cute? They're cute. I think it is a little bit weird, like, the selection is kind of weird, like, it's weird, but you know, whatever. And then I also just bought this <clears throat> this is the Moon Lo oh, Moon Dust by Urban Decay. That's how it looks. Um, I actually got this one. Actually, both of them I got discounted prices, so I was like, might as well buy it. Whatever. I also wanted to like do kind of like a Q and A type of vibe thing with me. So we'll just get straight into the video, and we'll be answering questions about relationships. So first, thumpy, and I'm going to be priming my eyes with the NYX, or I feel like it's called NYX. I'm not sure if it's NYX or NYX, but I call it NYX. But y'all know what I mean. It's the eyeshadow base. So I'm going to start with that. What is the typical guy, typical guy that approaches you in LA? So, yeah. I don't know why it's always like some type of rapper. Like an aspiring rapper that wants to like talk to me. Not saying that anything is bad with that. But, you know, what else do you do? Besides that, you know what I mean. Just ask. Famous pickup line that I always get. I don't know if it's really like a pickup line, but for some reason, guys feel like it's cute to come up to me like, hey, chocolate, drop, chocolate-ness, Hershey kisses. I just be like, oh, so that's my name now, okay. Well, let's try again. My name's Teresa. On YouTube, it's just me, Ray. And on Instagram, it's just me underscore Ray. Those are my names. Whichever one you want to call me by, that's fine. No, just kidding. I always like relate to my skin tone and like look at it as like some type of candy. How about we don't do that? Why is it hard to date in LA? I feel like in LA, so many people are just, are about like the, the an image, like a picture, you know? So they want like the finer things they see like celebrities all the time. A lot of people strive to have that like, I want that celebrity type of girlfriend and it's just all about looks about body types and like we get lost in all that so it's hard to really sometimes connect because I feel like so many guys so many girls they want to live that type of lifestyle because it's so like close to us it's what we see on a daily so it's hard to sometimes like figure out who's real who's being fake who's really gonna be down for you some people just want to talk to you just for connections or, you know, it's just really hard to find someone that's kind of genuine in a city full of people who are trying to be stars. Woo! That was a good one. Hey! Oh, and so far, what I put in my crease, which I really do love it because I feel like you can really, really, truly see, like, the, the color. 
it's this orange color right here and it is called devil this is kind of a uh what is it a dark palette like some of the names i'm like ooh, lord jesus you know my heart okay anyways what would be my ultimate date i'm really cheesy like i think it'd be really cute to go to disneyland like and I think that would just be really cute. And that might be like a second or third date, but I think that would be really fun. It's lots of laughter, lots of family, lots of friends. Love is over there. Like it's romantic, it's cute. Like I think Disneyland's cute. So if you wanna take me there, if you wanna win my little heart, give me some Disneyland tickets. Um, next color I'm gonna go into is this like brownish color right here and it's called Crucifix. Oh my god. Ooh. So I'm just gonna put the like ugh, and I have no idea where I'm going with this look, so y'all yeah, know. I'm just kind of playing around like while I do this. I'm not I mean I might be going somewhere afterwards, but what are three deal breakers on a date? I'm sorry, I'm old fashioned. If it's the first date, um, and you decide you don't really want to pay for me. That's a deal breaker for me. Like, I mean, I'm gonna act like I'll like I'm like, oh, you got you got this. Like, you know, I can. Help. You sure? Like, I'll play that little like role. But at least for the first date, you should be paid. I don't know. Just going off the top of my dome. Maybe if you try to order my food for me, like, I got this, bro. Like, if you try to tell me what I should be eating or something, like, I mean, maybe I mean you could recommend something, but to be like. I got this. She don't like, she wants a salad. Excuse me. Oh, I just thought maybe like if he's just so into himself and he's not like asking me questions about me, maybe that would be like a, Brett, we ain't doing this again. <laughs> would I want like a guy who's like super strong, super like macho, or would I want like that romantic guy? I don't know. I feel like if I could only have one, because I think a mixture of both would have been, that's, that's, that's hubby right there. <laughs> he gonna be my husband. Um, but if I just had to choose one, I think I would rather be with a guy that's more romantic and like thoughtful and is willing to just know what to do to make my little heart race, you know? And I'd be like, oh my God, like this is so cute because I'm a sucker like that. I'm a freaking Libra, like. We like stuff like that, you know, because I feel like a strong guy, tough guy, he's going to be like, no, babe, I got this. <laughs> and I don't, I don't really want all that. Like, mm. would I rather want the fashion artistic guy or would I want the sporty handyman? Like, it's like, do you want like a Kanye West type of guy or, or do you want like, I don't know, some basketball player? Kobe Bryant. There we go. We'll say that. <laughs> like, which one? Um... I feel like with my personality, I would like somebody that I can relate more to. So if he's like into fashion and to like photography and to art, like that's something that makes me feel good. So if we can relate like that, I think that'd be, I don't know. I just think that'd be kind of cooler. Can you be friends with your ex? No. <laughs> my sister said no if you couldn't hear her. Next question is race slash age an issue in a relationship okay personally for me this is just me i don't think race is an issue for a relationship but sometimes i think age can be say if you did in a guy that's like 10 years older than you you guys have been through completely two different things one's like social media savvy and the other's like i learned everything in a library one's like oh my god i'm like snapping and having fun and the other's like can we just be intimate and just like chill? I mean, that's cute too, to be intimate and chill. One part, like if you're 20, let's say like 28, and the other person is 38, they're closer to 40. At 28, you're still probably figuring out yourself. You're still probably thinking about career-wise. You're still probably wanting to like go out. Like I'm 28, I still like to go out and have fun, dance, you know, do the whole bar hop thing. If you're dating a guy that's like ready to like settle down, like one person's not gonna be happy in that relationship so i do feel like an age can play a huge factor in a relationship when should a girl start paying um for a date never 
that's 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 the third date by that time you know we've been kind of talking i kind of know you i kind of know what your intentions are with me i mean like i got you boo i got you this third day yeah because i need to know like i would need to know that you're willing to like been just a little bit of money on me because you know I still believe what is the word shivery shivery is not dead I still think like it's really not cute let her know like you ain't got to worry about nothing this is all on me I got you you know for a girl to be like here let me do something sweet for you but as a man like you shouldn't want me to pay for nothing yet like you know be a man if you want to be the man be the man you know Ooh, this is a good one chilling out the house is it considered a date um, I'm gonna go with no like it's not a date we chilling like a date is like we're going out we're getting dressed up we're like just we're experiencing new things we're making memories at a certain location a date is like a vibe like a vibe you know like something you do outside of the home like you get cute chilling at the house is what it's saying we're chilling at the house like it's not bad to do that a couple of times but not all the time a couple so right now i just basically put concealer on my lid and to jump into the next question how long it's how long until you meet the family slash best friends and tips on what to wear so before i answer that question i'm going to be jumping into this color right here i feel like maybe like yeah, if you guys been dating for like a bit official for about at least five months, six months, that's close to a year. And if you guys are on that level, yeah. I don't, I feel like three months is way too quick. Like you don't really know the person. Um, people change their minds in a year, but I feel like if you guys have had that communication with each other, you guys know what y'all both are looking for. You both know like this is it. You, got, you guys are taking the relationship serious, then there really isn't a specific date time amount of months but you know you gotta be past three months because three months that's usually the breakup day like the breakup month like okay we figured out we don't like each other <laughs> in three months <laughs> okay. oh and what to wear if you're gonna go meet the parents i say keep it as casual as possible don't do too bright and crazy makeup like be covered up you know be respectful because at the end of the day, you do want them to look at you like as someone like they're going to soon, if you guys are going to head to that path of marriage one day, you're going to basically, they're going to accept you as a daughter or as a son. And they want to know that you have morals because hopefully they had installed some morals into their child, you know. And I feel like you, yeah, you would want them, you'd want to to just show respect and not be like super like, mm, yeah, I got your son. <laughs> not, you, know, you don't want all that. Just be covered up, look cute, tone down the makeup. They don't really need to know that you know how to do a cut crease, you know, or a bold wing liner and like, you know. I'm sure they've seen pictures of you before, but like in person, just, you know, chill just a little bit. Just Fixer upper. Oh, I ain't got time for no fixer upper. Mm -mm. Sorry. Like, you need to fix yourself. Like, I don't have time to show you how to be a, a gentleman. I don't have time to show you how to treat me, how to, I, 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 to have, to get your life together. You need to come fixed. Explain the friend zone. It is what it is. The friend zone is one person likes the other person a little bit, a little bit more, like once it's, to be more and one person's just like no i don't even i can't even imagine uh what like being with you like holding your hand let alone like giving you a kiss like that like it kind of like grosses you out <laughs> so i think that's the friend zone i feel like one person is just like sees more and the other doesn't and unfortunately it's not gonna go anywhere you can be there like don't be in the friend zone if you if you know you're in the friend zone let those feelings go because it's never gonna change like Elsa Let it go Let it go Can't hold it back anymore. I don't know this song <laughs> Should there be locks on the phone? I feel like yes, you can have your phone on a lock. You can have a lock, but I feel like I need to know that password 
for real though. Like, <laughs> so jumping into the um, Moon Dust palette and by Urban Decay, I am going to jump into Lightyear. I think that's gonna be really pretty. So for a foundation, I basically use the Rihanna. Yeah, duh. <laughs> I do wanna try the um, Huda Beauty one. I think that one would be nice too, but yeah, I'm on a budget. when do you start to put your guard down like honestly i feel like if you were in a bad relationship and you're still if you feel like your wall is like really built or it's, it's strong like it's not coming down then honestly you're not even ready to date if you're just like oh well he has to prove to me da, 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 like you're not ready you haven't moved on from your previous relationship you're still i hate saying bitter because i don't believe any woman is bitter i feel like women have been hurt you know like men have been hurt when you have those walls broken down that's when you should date like work on yourself get stronger by yourself or don't get with a woman don't get with a man in hopes of him or her healing you from your last relationship breaking down walls like no break your own walls down and then like find a man that's whole be whole for another man be whole for another woman that's how i feel about it and that's just me re speaking. <laughs> you want to be my nephew? Come here, nephew. Come here, boy. Show them uh, your two teepuses. Ugh. Say hi. Look at camera. <gasps> Say hi. <gasps> oh. Ooh. See, I got four teeth today. Ooh. Aww. Say hi, YouTube. Mm. He's so cute. He's such a handful, right, Patricia? Yep. But we love him. Say bye bye. <clears throat> so this is what I got going so far. So for um, highlight, I got these. This is like honestly like a really good like Christmas gift, like a stocking, like a stocking stuffer. These are really good. I think they're so bomb, and like. You know, honestly, these like will last like a long time. So this is the one I'm gonna be using. Um, I thought it'd be really cute. What is this one? This is the rose gold one. So I'm just gonna take a few little dabs of that. So this is the final look. Those are the last bits of the questions that um, I had left. Um, my lips. I decided to use. It is the NYX or NYX um, Cosmetic Metals Lip Cream, and it's in the color. I don't think it has a color. Speed of light. I really do like it. I feel like I was kind of inspired by my nails when I did my eyes. Like, I thought that was kind of cute. Um, do I think this is worth it? Yes and no. I think this is like, it's not really beginner friendly. Like, it's not beginner friendly whatsoever because I feel like you have to get creative. You have to just dive right in it and figure out like, kind of like a color theme or something like just play with it. But all the colors don't really go together like they don't go together <laughs> but i think like it's very pigmented it's really pretty it's really nice i do like this palette um loki it's better than the rihanna palette i'm gonna be real i like it better um what else what else what else and that's i guess about it i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys like the questions that um i had answered and i hope you guys are already subscribed if you're not subscribed please subscribe join my little family here um i want to try my best to get more videos up more makeup videos up i hope you guys like this look i think it's like really fun and colorful and bold different out of my comfort zone like i have already said make sure you are subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you. Mwah. Bye.